Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dope. So real quick, I'm just going to make a video about how to add mods into your MK1 game. Um, this is PC only. Um, not too sure about consoles and stuff like that, but it's PC only. And on top of that, like a word of caution, there is a possibility that you could possibly be banned because you technically are using mods on the game. That's an online game which interacts with other people's experience. But at the same time, in my personal opinion, you shouldn't be banned because at the same time you're only using cosmetics to affect your own game. It's not something that the other person sees on their end. Everything right now is just on your end. So if like you're just doing cosmetics or if you're just doing um, like different sound bites, things like that, they shouldn't affect the other person. Like everything that you're downloading should only affect your screen itself. So just a word of caution, just be wary if you actually want to download a mod um, that there's you know possibility that you could be banned from the game itself so anyways I'm um, skipping over all that so the first thing you're gonna do is go over to Nexus mods so you're gonna go over to Nexus mods dot com um, either that or I'm just link it in the description because people are lazy and never feel like typing anything in including me so if you do type it in it's gonna be MK 12 since it's 12th game in the series you're going to go to the first one that says mk 12th mod loader you need this to download in order to you know set up your mods so you're going to download this you're going to go over to manual manual download and then you're going to go to slow download click on slow download and then it should download in a couple seconds then after it downloads we can open the file so we're going to open this file right here I'm just re-downloading. I'm going to redo this all at the same time just so you can see how easy it is. Um, close this. You want to make a new folder on your desktop. Mine I just named MK1 Mods. So just create a folder just as to have it as like a backup for you. Just so you know where all your mods are logged so you don't forget. So this one is the MK12 blah 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 and this is just the extra code that they had downloaded on you're gonna drag that into your backup mod folder and it's gonna be this one the mk12 that's what this is gonna be mk12 so after you're gonna want to pull up steam go over to where it says Mortal Kombat you're gonna want to open the properties so right click go to properties and then go down to installed files and then click browse after you hit browse, open up that file. You can you know, close that back down. And it should open another folder for you. And that's going to be this one right here. Mine is in Steam Apps and Common and then MK1. So it's going to bring you to this. So that MK12 file that you have that you put in your backup folder on your desktop, you're going to drag that over. Oops. You're going to drag that over into here. And it should say, do you want to replace all your files or any like extra files? Just click yes. It's going to replace the mod loader. So it should load your mods. So after you download that, you're going to go right back onto the Nexus app or um, site. Go to, if you're still on this screen, you can just click on MK1. And then it's going to boot up all the mods. I'm probably going to have to blur out some of this section because a lot of it is like NSFW content too. But let's just click a random mod. Um, we can, I guess we can do this one. Melina, because I already have other ones downloaded, but we can just do this one for example. Melina Pajamas. So we're going to go to download, manual download, same thing, slow download. Um, some files you do need to put in a specific folder i'll show you how to do like sound files too because those are kind of different than just regular like cosmetics so you have this here you're going to hit open file just keep that on the side and usually a lot of the times they'll tell you instructions on how to do it in the description most of the time drop file mk content packs launch game simple use mk11 mk1 uh, loader so anyways let's close that Let's throw that file that we have in our backup folder, which is going to be just the main file itself. So I'm going to throw this in there just so I know where it is, just so I have that file. 
and then we're going to open it up. So I think it was main. Yep, it's this one. All right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to go back to the MK properties file that we opened or, you know, so we can find out where it is. Um, then you're going to go into MK12 after you replaced it with the modder. MK12, then you're going to go to content. Then you're going to go to packs. This is where all your cosmetics go into the packs. Same thing with sounds, but sounds is different. I'll show that in a second. So you're going to go to packs. These you can clearly see are all my other ones that I threw in here and they work fine. So you're going to take whatever you just downloaded, whichever file you just downloaded and then just toss that right into here. It's going to pop up at the bottom. You usually don't have to rename them. Um, if it has like an A in front of it, I just rename it so that it's the actual whatever character it is. So Melina is Melina, so you don't have to really worry about it. So you can close out of this, then you can back out of that. I'm going to show how to do sounds real quick if you want to implement another sound. I'm just going to redo the same one I already have because I really don't want to add a different sound to my game. So I'm going to go back. Let's see if I can find it. All right. So this one is Scorpion. My main is Scorpion. So I had to download this one. So um, this one's a sound bite. So it just changes whenever he says get over here, whenever he throws his kunai. So you're going to manual download that same thing. After you download it, throw it in the MK1 mod so you just have it as a backup. Let's close that. It's there. So it is right here. So for this one, um, and I'm not too sure if it's for all sounds, but it does say in the description that you need to make a separate folder for it. In the description, it says go down to the same thing, packs, but you need to make a pack chunk 99 folder um, if you don't have it. And I'm pretty sure this one's specifically for sounds so you're gonna go back to your MK uh, files like of the actual game Ooh, not that one this MK files you're gonna go to packs and then you're gonna make a new file called pack chunk 99 and then you're gonna throw whatever your sound bite pack into here so and mine is scorpion one so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to load the game just to show you that like it actually does work. All right, so my game finally loaded. I don't know if I actually showed this, but it did skip all that whole long freaking cutscene and immediately went to the menu start game. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is just go to your settings real quick. It's just to make sure that your game is actually running nice. Um, go to your graphics and then go down to where it says benchmark. And then just run a benchmark test real quick. Um, I know I have the Scorpion sound, so you might be able to hear it in this. So I'm not going to say anything. Just hoping that it actually like plays. There it is. Too. All right, cool. Game is running at what it should be, 60 frames. I'm pretty sure you can unlock the cap for that. I'm pretty sure there's a mod that unlocks the 60 frame cap. I have Mike Guy, and I have a uh, freaking Deadpool. So Deadpool is going to be on the New Era, and his works for, I think, all of them for New Era. Except this one. I think that's the only one that doesn't work. Yeah. So, like, there's certain skins that it's not going to work on. But majority of them, they should work for that palette. But as I said, for, like, Melina, you have to have, like, the certain skin for it to work. Because some people only make the mod to work on a certain palette of that skin. So, and then for, you know, for Mike Guy... He's on this palette. So he's on Union of Light and then Deadpool is on New Era. So just make sure before you download the skin, look at the description and then see which palette swap it's supposed to be on. Because if it's on the wrong one, it's not going to work as, you know, I just showed. Um, so 
so let's try to get into a game I'm just gonna do a practice mode game just so you can see the skin run so yeah so these are the skins working as they're supposed to um, hopefully it works out for you um, if the game is like if you're running your benchmark and it doesn't seem to be working it might be your files or you might just have a bad um, you just might have a bad download to be honest but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, um, the video is not too long. Um, I appreciate it if you just leave a like, uh, subscribe. That's pretty much it. All right, peace out.